Hello everyone, so uh, we're going to install Miles Morales on our Steam Deck. So I've already installed it on my PC. So now I'm locating the game folder on my PC and uh, I'm going to run it first to make sure it works on the PC. Because sometimes when you download the game and then you install it on your PC and then you transfer it to your Steam Deck, uh, it doesn't work. And then you find out that uh, the game even doesn't even work on the PC. So how are you expecting it to work on the Steam Deck? So I, I really like to like make sure that the game works first. So yeah, this one seems good, seems legit. So uh, I'm gonna quit out of it. And then I'm gonna transfer the whole game folder to my Steam Deck. And if you've been seeing my tutorials, I normally do it by a program called Warpinator. So I've downloaded uh, Warpinator on my PC and I have Warpinator on my Steam Deck and they're connected to the same network so once they see each other they will you, you can just transfer the files so okay so here I'm on the PC I'm opening Warpinator and as you can see my Steam Deck is already connected to it so I'm just gonna move the game folder to my Steam Deck and it's gonna take a while because it's kind of big. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. I'll see you when it's finished transferring. All right, welcome back. So that took a while. So um, I've now I'm back on my Steam Deck, and I'm gonna open the game folder just to make sure it's there. Yep, there's a game folder called Game. So I'm gonna rename it to Miles Morales, so I know it's the Miles Morales game. And then I'm gonna open up my Steam. Go to add. A non steam game then I'm gonna locate that folder and then select the exe file and then add it to my program so and then on the left hand side I go to properties Miles Morales properties I'm gonna change Miles Morales exe to Miles Morales so it looks better and then I'm going to go to compatibility and I'm going to make it to Proton Experimental. I'm going to force it to Proton Experimental. All right, so let's just run it here on desktop mode just to make sure it works before we go to game mode. So we're going to try starting it. Yep, looks good. Uh, the launcher launches. So, and then we are going to. Uh, uncheck the show launcher so when we're in game mode it goes directly into the game instead of going to the launcher because it'll be quite weird on the game mode to go to a launcher uh, here i'm just gonna do some settings uh, i'm gonna make it to medium i'm not sure how it runs i think it's pretty good so yeah just do medium i think it's good for now uh yep just click OK for this. This is the, the graphics card. It says it's, there's a newer version or somehow. 
I'm not sure how to fix it at the moment. But it only shows on uh, desktop mode. On game mode, I don't think it shows up. So we're good there. Yep, so the game looks good. It's running uh, on desktop mode. You could actually play it here if you want, but uh, I don't really like playing on desktop mode because um, uh, it's really hard to get out of it Like when you want to quit the game. Uh, on game mode, you just press the Steam button and you can exit game. Uh, but here it works fine. Even the controls are working, as I, as I know. But in game mode, there's a problem because the controls don't work off the bat. So we've got, to, we've got to have a dual workaround around that. So uh, stick around for that. So now we're booting the game for the first time. It's going to take a little bit. All right. Yeah, the controls are working fine in desktop mode. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's like that. It works fine. You can use the Steam controller, uh, uh, your Steam Deck control, to play it. It's fine, but uh, it doesn't work on game mode. So let's go to game mode now and let's see what we can do. Okay, so in game mode, uh, go to library and then uh, non Steam and locate your game. It should be called Miles Morales. Yep, here it is. And there's no artwork. So if you know me, first thing I do, do the artwork first. So I'm going to change the artwork. I normally go with official, but that's up to you. So let's do the artwork and then I think I'm going to go into handheld mode so uh, I might just swap so you can see me pressing the buttons and you understand what I mean by the controls don't work. Yeah, I'm going to go to, after this I'm going to go to handheld mode. Alright, so yeah, I've done that. So let's just go to handheld mode and we'll play from there. Okay, so in handheld mode now, uh, gonna launch it from the library. And then uh, you'll see that the controls don't work. The, the By default, the controls don't work. So we'll launch it here first. It looks pretty good on the Steam Deck, uh, on the on the screen. But you'll have to see it for yourself. I mean, through the monitor, it doesn't look so good because the lighting and all that. My setup is not that great. Alright, so you can see I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing works. Uh, this is normal. So there is a way around it. Uh, we go to Steam, Steam button, and then we click controller settings. And then we go to controller settings at the bottom. Click on it. And then uh, see the official layout. Yeah, we click on that. We don't use the official layout. We go to the community layouts. And there is one by OSPA. I think this one works pretty good. Uh, you can click on it and then apply layout. It should download and it will be applied to your game. And then you would be able to use your controller. But there is a drawback for this because what he's basically doing is he's mapping your controllers to the keyboard. So the on-screen button layouts would be the PC. So it would be like spacebar, escape so you'd have to get used to which button is which uh which is a really uh, that's the drawback of this workaround but 
you know, at least it works. So uh, I hope you enjoy. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit of gameplay and then we'll just leave it here. So thank you for watching. Um, if this helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.